Well, this is what we all have been waiting for. The Grand Rapids Goats have made it to the playoffs with their 10-4-2 record, and they will play the Miami Cyclones in the first round of the playoffs. First, let's take a look at the statistics now in the season for the Grand Rapids Goats. Randall Cunningham, 20 touchdowns, 2 interceptions, and 11 of those touchdowns went to Jerry Rice. On defense, are led, of course, by Jim Marshall, Rod Woodson, and Eugene Robinson. And their opponents, they're led by O.J. Simpson, the league MVP after his stellar running performance this season. And they'll also have to test the likes of Jack Lambert on defense. Here we are, guys, in the Oceanic Bowl in Miami, Florida. The Grand Rapids Goats are ready. This is a beautiful stadium, by the hey, way. Jerry. And let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the action. It's third down and two for the Grand Rapids. Go to their own 39-yard line in the opening drive of this playoff opener. On third down, Cunningham drops back off his back foot. He fires downfield and he finds his tight end, Clinton Wilkerson, in Miami territory for a first down. Second down and 12 now from the 46-yard line. Handoff, here it goes. Chuck Foreman looking for room to run, and he can't escape Jack Lambert. It'll be third down and 11 now. Have to get to the 34-yard line for a first down. And being chased, Cunningham is sacked on the play by Jack Lambert. It's the first time we'll see Miami's offense on the field now, and watch out for this man. It's O.J. Simpson up the middle for about a three-yard gain. Takes two defenders to take him down. And it'll be a tough test for Grand Rapids to stop this running game and make Miami a passing offense. They'll throw on third down. The pass is shy of the first down marker, and it's Goat's ball. Second down and seven for Cunningham in the pocket, now flushed out to his right. Throwing at the last second, it's hauled in by Jerry Rice coming across the field, but a flag is down. We'll take a look at what the flag is going to be, and they're going to call clipping on the Grand Rapids Goats. That'll back him up and negate the first down yardage. Second down and nine now from the 36. Handoff, Foreman up the middle, looking for him to run, dragging defenders along the way on his way to an eight-yard gain, and they'll be one yard shy of the first down. Third and one, handoff, Foreman again. This time he's met immediately, but he pushes ahead, and he does get the first down yardage. Now an offset eye for Cunningham, tight end to the right, and it's a shovel pass to Foreman up the middle, and he catches him off guard for about an eight-yard gain. Nice play call there to get seven yards, actually. From the 47 now of Miami, Cunningham pass, and he's under pressure, and Jack Lambert's there again. Second sack on the day for Jack Lambert. Third down and 10, have to get to the 45-yard line. Cunningham drops back, fires downfield, it's knocked away, intended for the receiver Douglas Lloyd. On fourth down, the Goats will punt in back deep, and this is a bad kick, by the way, but it's, oh, it's muffed in, the Goats recover, and they're going to have it at the Miami 24-yard line. No score still in the second quarter with 3.20 to go, and Cunningham fires to the outside. It's caught by Chuck Foreman. He's got a first down across the 15-yard line. Good pass in the flats. Let's go ahead to second down and six from the eight-yard line. Cunningham drops back to throw. Fires to the outside. It's caught by Lloyd. He's in the end zone. First points of the game are awarded to the Grand Rapids Goats. They're up 7-0 now after a muffed punt gave them a short field, and they turned it into the game's first touchdown. Here's a replay. Nice pass to the outside. These outside passes are always dangerous, but good placement by Cunningham. Miami on offense now with a seven-point deficit, and Otto Graham drops back to throw. He's looking long deep. He has a man inside the 45 yard line and there they are in goats territory great throw by Otto Graham and now they have the chance to add some points before halftime from the 40 now the pitch is out to OJ Simpson he breaks one tackle make it two and now being chased and the juice is loose and he's in the end zone for a touchdown 40 yards OJ Simpson ties this game at seven apiece Almost to halftime, a little over a minute, 10 to go, as Cunningham drops back to throw, now rolling to his right, being chased. He has a man open, wide open, his rocket is now on the sideline, and he's actually going to be close to midfield, and yes, he gets into Miami territory. Now there's only 37 seconds to go, and Cunningham flushed out of the pocket. Throws last second to his fullback, Dempsey Cartwright, and he'll get eight yards, and the Goats will call a timeout. 27 seconds remaining, not quite in field goal range, and Cunningham will take the snap out of the shotgun and drop back to throw. Now rolling to his right, he has pressure, but a man downfield is open. It's Chuck Foreman inside the 10-yard line, wrapped up at the 8-yard line. Goats taking another timeout. Now 10 seconds to go. Can they put this one in the end zone? Being chased, Cunningham is sacked from behind, and they'll have to settle for a field goal. Out comes Nate Conway. It's a short field goal, and wow, what a weak kick. 
It's barely good. The 31-yarder is true. And now we'll go to the second half. Miami at their own 36-yard line, down by three. The Goats have the lead right now, 10 to seven. Pitch out to OJ again to the outside. Has the edge set. Breaks the tackle. A big game. Two broken tackles and taken down at about the 40-yard line of Grand Rapids. Already in Grand Rapids territory. From the 40, stretch play now. It's OJ again. He's got room to run. Great blocking being chased. And they're not going to be able to catch him again. Rod Woodson dives and misses. And OJ Simpson turns it into another long touchdown run. 14-10 Miami. I tell you, they have to find a way to stop OJ Simpson, but now they have to play catch up down by four. Chuck Foreman up the middle. This methodical offense will have to get a good drive going to answer Miami. On first and ten, Cunningham being chased and already. That was a that was a very fast sack on the play. It'll back him up to third down and 16. And pressure off the edge. Cunningham off balance. Deep throw. It's hauled in. What a throw to rocket is mile. I'm not sure how he pulled that one off, but it's a miracle first down. And now third and nine, Cunningham back over the middle, and Ismail bails him out again. In traffic, he makes the catch when Cunningham was staring in the face of pressure. On first and ten, stretch play, good blocking for Foreman. First down and more to the goal line, not quite there. He's down at the one from the one yard line, offset eye formation. Running it behind Dempsey Cartwright, it's Chuck Foreman into the end zone and the Goats reclaim their lead, 17 to 14 in the end of the third quarter. 45 seconds now until the fourth quarter, OJ Simpson, the lone man in the backfield. It's a throw to OJ and good play to knock him out of bounds, a gain of one yard. Third down and six. Likely one of the last plays of the third quarter. Pass over the middle. It's holding in Goats territory. A first down for the Cyclones. Great throw on third down on the post. And now they have it at the 42-yard line. Second down and ten. Handoff. OJ looking to go outside. Breaks one tackle. But the Goats do a good job of rallying to the ball carrier. And he's taken down for a short gain. Third down and eight now. Graham drops back to throw. No pressure, great blocking, but now time runs out. There we go. The inside rush finally gets to him. Goats have the ball here in the fourth quarter. 4.17 to go. They're going to run the ball, but if Miami can keep stopping it this way, they're not going to be able to run much time off the clock. Third and 11. Cunningham's going to throw. Look at the pass rush. That was fast. Cunningham had no chance that time. Now they're going to have to punt out of their own end zone. And oh my god, what a disaster. The punter slipped when he kicked the football. A two and a half second hang time kick that goes to maybe the 40 yard line. Look at this replay. He just falls on his ass and now Miami has it at the 41 yard line. Two and a half minutes ago, the clock is running. OJ breaks the tackle and plows his way for the toughest eight yard run. You could ask of a running back. Now it's third down and two. They're gonna throw slant route caught by Mark Carrier. He was one on one on the outside. I think the Goats were definitely looking for OJ to get the football. Now it's second and seven. And Graham, no, I thought we were gonna do the draw play. And it's almost caught for a touchdown. Almost picked off. Almost caught for a touchdown again. Now it's third down and seven after the aftermath. From the 12 yard line, Graham drops back. End zone. It's no, he doesn't make the catch. That was very, very close. And now they'll call on their kicker here in the rain to make a 29-yard field goal for the tie. It's up and it is good. 29-yard field goal is good. And the game is tied at 17. We are headed to overtime. Sudden death overtime rules apply as the Goats will get the football first and attempt to knock off OJ Simpson and the Miami Cyclones. Here we go folks from the 32. First down and 10. It's a handoff. No it's a flea flicker. No it's a sack. You can't let that happen on first down. Loss of 11. Second down and 21. Now I have to get some of that sack yardage back. Cunningham drops back. He's going to throw and his throw was almost intercepted and that'll force a third down and 21. What a situation the Goats have dug themselves into. And now Cunningham can't escape the rush again. He's sacked. They lose 24 yards on that drive and have to punt. Thankfully, this time the punter keeps his footing. It's not a great kick, but it will bounce. And it will take a rest at the 41-yard line. The same spot his last one ended up. All right. Defense has to show up and make a big stop. Hand off OJ. He cuts back to the outside. Room to run. And the juice will end it. A 41-yard touchdown run, a walk-off winner for O.J. Simpson, his third rushing touchdown of the game, carrying the Cyclones to a victory, 23-17.
What a heartbreaking way for the GOATs to end their season in the playoffs. They worked so hard to get here. They'll finish the season 10-5-2. And, and OJ Simpson just could not be stopped today. 160 yards and 3 touchdowns. And that's the way the All-Pro Football 2K8 Grand Rapids GOAT Season Mode Series ends. Thank you guys for sticking through this entire series. I know it took me a long time to finish it. Months too long. It took way too long to get this done. I started this series on March 4th of last year. It's ran over 11 months and I'm finally finished. But at least I did get it done. And it's a disappointing way to end the series. One and done in the playoffs. I still had a lot of fun playing this game. All Pro Football 2K8 is a very, very good game. And it's also very cheap right now if you haven't played it. you can. I got it for like under $2 at GameStop when I got it. And it's well worth it. It's a great football game. I enjoyed playing it. And I just want to thank you guys for sticking through this series. I'm sad that it's coming to an end. Maybe I'll bring some more All Pro Football 2K8 back to my channel in the future. But for now, guys, this is one more series done for me. And uh, farewell, All Pro Football 2K8 Grand Rapids GOAT Season Mode. I'll miss you, Jerry Rice, Randall Cunningham, and everybody else. But thank you guys for watching the series and supporting it. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video and the series as a whole. And I'll see you guys next time.